Hi everyone, Bonita here. Welcome to day 28 of our 33 days of manifestation. And I'm here with Mitzi, the wonder dog, <laughs> who really wants to be running around chasing small lizards right now, but she doesn't get to. She's going to help us manifest. Anyway, yesterday we spoke about the importance of attitude, gratitude, and action when you manifest three things, attitude, gratitude, and action. And today we're going to continue that. I'm going to give you a couple of examples and then uh, we'll do a little guided, you know, manifestation journey together. So attitude is really important. Remember what you're feeling is what you will connect with. And you know what, you walk into a room and there's a hundred people in the room and, you know, or maybe it's a party, whatever, a room full of people and you're feeling really desperate and depressed, you'll find yourself drawn to people who connect with that. Or even if you're wandering around, you'll settle with the people who connect with that. Or if you go and you're feeling really joyous, the people who are feeling joyous and you will connect with each other. You know, like look at Eeyore in Winnie the Pooh. He's always like, oh, always with me versus Piglet where it's always something fabulous or Baby Roo or Tigger. So what you're feeling is what you will connect with. Remember that. This is why we never manifest from a feeling of desperation or deep need. Like when you're more experienced, you go down that route. But again, we're in a beginner level here. So be easy on yourself. Even if you are feeling desperate or full of need, you need to manifest the things you can connect with on a state of neutrality, emotional neutrality, on up to joy. So some examples are, and again, you know, like fun things. That's why we say let's manifest the color purple or horses or unicorns or fairies. You know, like I said, I'm going to manifest unicorns. Later that day, I'm talking with a friend. She goes, oh, Bon, you're such a unicorn. You know, <laughs> so I, you know it. That, you know, so um, one time I wanted to manifest more money because like anyone else, this is our common currency. And I always are like, yeah, I need a little more. When I had my own wellness center and I had my home and I had a family that I was the sole caregiver for, you know, I was a single mom and you know, there was, it, it was very busy. There was a lot going on and I had a lot of bills to pay. My monthly bills were very high because I had a gluten-free bakery, a vegan food truck as part of the Mind, Body, Spirit Wellness Center. I had all these practitioners working for me, um, we or with me because yeah, anyway, um, and I had uh, 30 to 40 live events every month which meant every single day we had an event. Some days we had two events. It was a lot to manage. So manifesting success and, you know, money was very complicated because every month I needed to earn X amount of money to keep all of this going. And so what I would have to do is focus on, I would like to manifest this one event in which is going to be an amazing event with an amazing teacher who's coming in to be very, very successful. And I want to manifest it not just for me and for money, but because this teacher is amazing. So they deserve to have a room full of people and for all the people who will attend because it's a really good ticket price. I mean, I definitely believed in like a low ticket price and a packed room is, you know, better than a high ticket price in a half empty room. So it's like a good ticket price for an amazing event. Everyone will benefit. So what I did is I took the manifestation away from, I need money to pay my bills and two, okay, I know if this event is successful, it will fulfill that need, but what else will it do? And it will really make this person who's investing their time and their skill set in me, the teacher. It will make them so happy and 
bring them more clients, which is, you know, something that they'd appreciate. All the people attending will be so happy. They'll learn so much. And it might bring me more regular students and clients to my wellness center. And our entire community will grow in a positive way where everyone is benefiting and happy. So that would be my focus. The money would be the byproduct of all of that goodness. And then I would say, okay, what action do I have to take? Because the world has to know. So I would put flyers out in the community and I would post on social media and I would like let everyone know. I'd send out a newsletter. You know, I would um, contact friends who would want to go and say, please invite your friends, you know, let them know it's about this amazing event. You know, I would pass it out because I'm not saying, hey, please come to this event because I need money. I'm saying this is going to be an amazing event and I really want everyone to know about it so that everyone can be part of something amazing. That would be my action. And then, well, yeah, so I would, in alignment with everything good and joyous and spreading out the root system of it through the community, taking action, and then the event would come and of course it would be packed. Everyone would have a great time and, you know, everyone would benefit. Everyone would be happy. People who attended would make new friends. And, you know, of course, all of this was pre-COVID, right? <laughs> so this is what I'm talking about. When you manifest, don't just sit and say, oh, I need this. I need this. I need this. Have your attitude, have gratitude and take action. So we're going to do a little moment for ourselves. Get yourself comfortable and think about something you need. You know, and again, for most of us, really these days it comes down to money or friendship, you know, companionship or a feeling of self-worth, you know. I mean, you know what is the primal element you're looking for, you know, something you need that you may not emotionally feel that positive about. So think about it. Maybe it's something that kind of brings you down because it's not satisfying you the way you like would like it to. So for me, um, Okay, well, I will tell you, uh, Kim, the Time Lord, and I are starting a ghost hunting series because, you know, we're both psychic mediums and uh, we both love going and poking at ghosts and spirits. And um, uh, in this series, we'll also interview people like shamans and gurus and witches and, you know, about their experiences. I'm really excited about this, but I'm very nervous because what if we build this whole series and no one shows up? And, and again, the success of the series comes down to, uh, we will hopefully earn enough money on this that we can afford to travel to cool places and, you know, do ghost hunting in cool, spooky sanatoriums or things like that. So, I am going to say I need all the work we're putting into this new series. I need it to be successful so that we can continue with it. And, um, you know, it will be a lot of fun for us. Um, well, when we're in the haunted house, I may be eating those words. <laughs> all right. So I am feeling a lot of anxiety about this because I've already put in a lot of work. And we have no idea what we're doing. We're just going ahead and like doing our research as we go along. All we know is we both have a lifetime of experience with this. So I am very nervous and very anxious. And to be honest, feeling really vulnerable about this because this is a part of my life I normally keep, you know, private. Um, so I'm looking within myself and you find your equivalent and look within yourself and say, where is a part of all of this that does not feel frightened or vulnerable, a part that feels positive and happy and look in and find some element. 
It may be the dream of what will happen when you're successful that you might even feel is too audacious. Like, oh my God, I don't dare think that way until I get there. I'll jinx it. Or you might feel like um, you're giving yourself false hope or being arrogant. Who am I to think I could be successful? Believe me, I've been down all those roads. But what you're doing is you're looking at the seed, the kernel of what you want, and then you're following a line of positive energy to the arcing like rainbow of where it can go. So find whatever in there that maybe you're denying yourself that's positive with this and nurture it, feel it like, wow, you know what? This could be really cool. This could be, what would be fun about this? And just like put yourself in the moment, in the seat, in the place of the joy of your wish. And just stay there for a moment in whatever element would bring you, fill you with joy. Whether you feel it's realistic or not, who cares? And then follow this line of joy to seeing from this place of joy, the completed vision of it and wallow in it. If it's a vacation, imagine yourself on the vacation and also on the other side, when you're back from it, sharing the good, the bounty of it with your friends, you know, the photos that you're like posting on social media, the, you know, getting together with friends and being able to speak a new language or in my part, like, visiting a spooky sanatorium or a graveyard and chatting with ghosts and live streaming it. <laughs> okay. And, and allow this to spread even further, how this will fill your life afterwards, how once what you wish for is part of your life and maybe even your life moving beyond it, how that colors and impacts your life in such a good way. And allow this to spread wide, like an arc all around you, everywhere you look. You see how joyful and fun your life will be And then allow that energy to just fill all of the space between this arc back to where you are in the now and realize where you are in the now, every action or emotion you have, every thought you have of this is a potential to get another line to the overarching. It's like you're building a business plan or an architectural diagram. And as you build these lines, okay, well, I'm a little nervous about this. So what am I nervous about? I'm nervous of failure. So failure is the flip side of success. So if this is successful, what will it look like? Okay, great. And follow that arcing line to, or that line from the kernel you're at to this beautiful rainbow of completion. Then you're like, okay, uh, if I'm successful, I'll have new friends and follow that line connecting where you are now to the arcing rainbow of completion. Like, okay, if I'm successful, I'll have a level of stability in my life I don't have now, or I'll have a level of adventure. I don't. You'll have something that you don't have now. So follow that. You know, I will be more calm and relaxed. So you follow that. And then you say, you know what? If this becomes successful, there's even potential to go beyond it to other levels of success, right? So then you come back, like wallow in this, just walk, take your time and wallow. And then you come back to where you are now. And now you're going to stay with me for a moment. And she sees a lizard. <laughs> come back to where you are now, to your seed your germ of wish 
and let it sprout, let it germinate, let it grow. And all of the lines, those are your lines of action. Choose one. Realize you have all of this structure now to support you. Choose one and say, okay, if I'm going to take an action, what will it be? Which line do I wish to follow now? You're like, okay, so I need to do a little research. You know what? If you need more money, so I have a skill that I don't utilize. How can I utilize the skill? I'll go on Google, you know, web search and look at other people who are successfully making money on the skill that I'm just like sitting here letting my poor self-esteem do nothing. It's lying fallow in the ground. And yet other people are making use of it. What are they doing and how can I learn from them? Do a little research. Okay, I, I want to take a vacation. I've been cooped up with COVID. I want to get out there and go somewhere. Where is a safe place to go where I will have fun and have a great time? Okay, I want to meet people. Let's do a little research. How to meet people in, you know, December 2021. <laughs> and but you're starting to take action it's small primal actions if it's towards getting a promotion at work if promotions are available at work you know or looking for a new job if there's no promotions available well i love my job but there's no room for promotion so do a little research how can i find a position you know, that will meet my growing skills where I can continue growing while you still have the security of your current job. You know, just think about it, think about it. And what you might find as you're looking to these other things, because you love your job, you may be able to bring a proposal to your employer and say, how about, I know you don't have any room for growth, but I did a little research. What do you think of this? And they might say yes or no, but you're taking action. You're taking action. And now you've realized your self-worth. And as you take action and you keep manifesting on your self-worth, something will come along. Something will come along, especially with job promotions. I have seen this. Always go forward with full faith in your self-worth. Zero arrogance, full faith, and something comes along. <sighs> Yeah, one time I needed to manifest a vacation. I wanted to go to the south of France. A girlfriend of mine won a free two-for-one ticket to Montreal, Canada. And she called and said, would you like to come along as my friend? It's free. All we have to do is pay for our extra stuff. I was like, yeah, okay, I want to go to south of France, but I went to French Canada. You know what? And it was great. So these things can work in curious ways. Um, go ahead and try the exercise that I gave you. And, you know, you can look again on yesterday's video of attitude, gratitude, action, and have fun with it. How can you apply to this, this to your life? How can you go forward with this? Have a good time with full faith in yourself. And in the very least, you'll have an enjoyable self-appreciation moment and that's pretty good and then let's see where it goes from there so have a wonderful day mitzi the maniac is chasing a lizard and um i'm going to go and have a lovely time in this beautiful florida weather it's definitely a change from my main mountain cabin um and if you like this video, please subscribe to the Bonita Woods YouTube channel and my manifestation partner, Mariam Sardari at The Core Shift YouTube channel. Have a wonderful day. Mwah! Bye.